The eighth and final race on the Hollywood Bets Gravel Poly Track Monday the 5th of October is the Hollywood Bets Bright Future MR75 Handicap. It's over 1,400 meters. And again, it's pretty competitive. It's not cut and dried, not easy to find a banker. I've sided with number one, Hamam, who's finished second in his last two starts and has drawn pole position. So that'll give him every chance from the inside gate. But there's certainly others with chances. I make the biggest danger, number six, Sovereign Soldier. Uh, to be followed by number four, Maitland Magic, and number 10, Tarzan. But it certainly doesn't end there. Number two, Tambora, is an interesting runner. Justin Snaith uh, brings him up from Cape Town. But I'm guided by the fact that Anton Marcus, who could probably have had the ride at number two, Tambora, has stuck with number four, Maitland Magic. So I'm going to trust Anton's judgment here and uh, expect Maitland Magic to finish ahead of Tambora. In fact, you quite like Maitland Magic. Yes, you'll see again in the perms, um, I've taken a stance, because you're either going to... I probably could have got away with one him arm, two Tambora, and four Maitland Magic, uh, because uh, I respect one and two, and they'll be part of my three-way boxed exactors for 90 Rand, one, two, and four, but for a first choice and for a stance, I'm going with Maitland Magic, a, a good-looking son of Silvana out of a National Assembly mayor, full Brett Crawford, Hollywood syndicate, Anton, as you say, rides, showed good pace last time, went to the front, and what I like, though, off that, off that good pace and off going to the front, kicked away at the top of the straight and really thumped the field, beating them by nearly five lengths. I know it was just a maiden. Uh, I think he could be a little bit above average and could follow up. No, he certainly could follow up. In fact, I overheard Anton uh, saying when he came back to the winner's enclosure that he went too slowly early on. He should have gone a little bit quicker and had them off the bit a little bit earlier. I like Sovereign Soldier, which you haven't mentioned, Warren, uh, because, um, you know, he's had two second, run, uh, two second place finishes in his last three starts. That last run may be a little bit off-putting on paper. Uh, but he was drawn deep and caught very wide. Yes. And uh, he never really had any chance for the way the race uh, panned out. I expect him to put that run behind him and to be more competitive. He's far more at home on the poly track. And he's as a four-time well. winner. And he's, he's a four-time time winner. So there are a few with chances. You're in the camp with number, of number four, Maitland Magic. As I said, I'm in the camp of one six. I do respect Maitland Magic, and I've certainly included Maitland Magic in all my permutations. What about number 10, Tarzan? Certainly nothing wrong with the form. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with the form at all. Drawn deep last time, gets a deep draw again, but goes the extra distance. Six runs, two wins, and multiple, well, what's that, multiple placed, is, had, a, had a third and a fourth over the distance. Lazan Forbes, Suzette Fulun, and Chris Fenwick. No, nothing wrong with uh, Tarzan. He's consistent. He always runs well. He's certainly going to have to get uh, included in your, uh, in your play. One other, I want to just quickly ask you before we wrap, Phil's power number 11 has just had the two starts in KwaZulu-Natal, uh, showed some improvement in the second KZN start, but he's a seven-time winner, rating of 69. Uh, Cliffy Miller, would you put him into the back end of quartets? No, I would ignore number 11, Phil's power, but I can't say the same for number nine, Swagger Jagger. I mean, he's, 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 he's also got good, consistent form, won his last start. No, I can't see Phil's power. Not okay. Very, very tough race. Let's not go on anymore because uh, when we start looking at these fields and looking at these horses, we try and find what they call spooks. But Graham's numbers, one, six, four, and ten. I'm taking a stance. I think Maitland Magic could be a little bit above average.